Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back with another AEW Unmatched review. Today I'll be looking at Series 1, Miro. On the side of the box you see an image of Miro, and on the back you see another image of Miro, the event, date, and place in which this image was taken, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, now that we have looked at the box, let's go ahead and open this figure up and take a closer look at Miro. Alright, and here is the best man, the Redeemer, God's favorite champion out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figure, Let's go ahead and look at the accessories that he comes with. So he comes with a pair of extra gripping hands and an AEW microphone. And then take a look at the head sculpt. This is an open mouth head sculpt. So he's screaming, he's showing his big wide mouth. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not really a fan of this head sculpt. Personally, I'm not a fan of these type of sculpts where you've got these big wide mouths open. To me, these often are hit or miss. And we've seen a hit from Jazzwares with the Series 4 Kenny Omega. But we've also seen a miss with the Series 2. Riho. So with this, I personally think this is a miss. I would have preferred if it was a closed mouth head sculpt. Now I will say seeing it in person does look a little better than the images online, but I'm still really not a fan. But with that personal opinion aside, the paintwork is really good on the teeth, the lips, the beard, the eyes, and the eyebrows. The hair is sculpted really well, and it is blonde, so this is depicting his best man look, not his current God's favorite champion look. And looking at it from the side, it does look better than looking from the front. So I don't know, maybe this might grow on me. I don't think it's the worst head sculpt that Jazzwares has done, but it's certainly not anywhere near the best. Personally, I think the worst head sculpt is Series 3 Matt Jackson. I think that thing is horrendous. And then looking at the body, this is a brand new body. I do like the sculpt. This looks perfect for Miro and his physique. So this looks really good. I love how this turned out. And look at the back. Tattoo looks very good. It is painted very well. I don't see really any sloppiness with the exception of maybe right there, but everything else looks good, clean, line work. Tattoo does not go all the way up, so if you do pose them this way, the tattoo will separate, and it does look like there's a little bit of yellowing here on the back, and it looks like I scratched a little bit of the plastic, so that's weird. So I do notice this yellowing, and I did see that on the shoulder over here as well. So mine has this yellowing. I don't know where that's coming from. It's kind of weird. Then looking at the Bulgarian tattoo, that looks really good. Good clean line work, good paint. It's not too vibrant or saturated, so that is good. The arms look really nice. They're nice and thick and beefy, just the way they should. And then looking at the shorts. So it says across the front, best man. So again, this is depicting his best man gimmick. Now, I wasn't really a fan of that gimmick. I personally didn't like it at all. I hated that he was paired up with Kip Sabian. But I absolutely love what he is doing now as the TNT champion. In my opinion, I think that's how he should have been booked from the beginning. But better late than never. But again, with that opinion aside, the paint looks really good on the letters. This line here, this swoosh looks really good. The camo colors look good as well. The Miro letters look good. Nice, good, clean line work around here. Looks to be a little bit of missing white paint on the side and on the back as well. That's a little disappointing. Not a deal breaker for me. Camo looks good on the back. Got a little bit more of that gold and white line work here, which looks good. Pretty solid. We got your American flag here, which Painted very well. Then on the other side, you've got the Bulgarian flag, and that is painted really good as well. Then look at the lower half of the lower body. So you've got exposed knees here, then most of the calf is covered with the boot, which looks really good. Pretty standard, not a whole lot of paint. Then going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint and a hinge, so he doesn't look high up at all. He does look slightly down, so not a whole lot of range there. Head can turn side to side, doesn't really tilt. Shoulder has a hinge, it allows it to go that high up. Can rotate all the way around, there is a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, that has really good range of motion. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. He's got a ball joint at the upper diaphragm, he can crunch that far forward, go that far back, twist side to side, and not really tilt. Then there's another ball joint at the waist, can go even further forward, further back, and twist slightly. Ball joints at the hips which allow the legs to go not very far out. So would have been better if it had a better range but that's okay for this figure. Legs can go that high up. There is a thigh cut. Double jointed knees. And then I feel like that there's a cut here at the boot, but it doesn't really move on mine on either boots, so I don't want to break this so I'm not going to try. And then the ankle has a hinge. Allows it to go that high up, that far down, 
and there is some really good ankle pivot. Alright, so unfortunately I do not have a Mattel Rusa figure to, to compare Miro with, which would have been great for this review, but here he is next to Unmatched Kenny Omega, Unmatched Darby Allin, Orange Cassidy, Chris Jericho, John Moxley, Cody Rhodes, and Luchasaurus. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the Unmatched Series 1 Miro? Well, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to like it based on the photos that I saw online. I'm still really not a fan of the head sculpt, but I find myself enjoying this figure more than I thought I would. I'm glad to have Miro in my collection, considering I don't have Rusev in my collection. And honestly, he looks pretty good standing with the TNT Championship belt. So do I think he's worth picking up? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it's necessarily a bad figure. I do think that the head sculpt is disappointing but slightly better than what I thought it would look. Hopefully in the future we'll get an updated mural with a better head sculpt and the white version of the TNT Championship belt. So if you don't have a Rusev in your collection like myself, then I think this would be a great figure to pick up. Otherwise, you could even try swapping the head with one of the Rusev heads, and I think that would look good. I really do like the body on this figure. I think it matches Miro's physique. So overall, I do think it's a pretty decent figure. If you haven't done so already, go ahead, like this video, and subscribe. If you want to have a chance to get a shout-out in the next video, leave a comment down below. Just like the Hitman Hunter in the last video said, awesome figure and review. Thank you, Hitman Hunter. Don't forget to follow me on social media so you can keep up to date with all my wrestling figure photography. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>